hello guys welcome back to my channel uh this is uncle b media network and my name is Boladi james in this tutorial i want to show us uh how to use a uh, smart slider 3 with uh, elemental uh to create beautiful sliders for our website like uh the one i have here on my screen here so um as you can see the uh, slider looks quite great um and we can actually add slider to any type of website, be it a blog, be it an e-commerce website, a company website. They always make our, our site looks great, although sometimes some people believe that uh, it slows down uh, the website. But some at least sometimes you just want to use them because they are beautiful. So let's see how to, let's see how to use it okay so uh, i have this uh website right now this is how this uh the only hero that i've made this is the hero header for now so instead of this hero header let's assume i want to use a slider instead so i can actually work on that so to do that you need to ensure that you have these two plugins installed that is elemental which we know is uh, a page builder and of course smart slider 3 is the slider plugin that we are going to be using so you just go to uh plugin uh, repository search for elemental install it search for smart slider install it and make sure the two of them are activated so i've also created the home page of course which is what i just showed you now so um all right so once you've done that immediately you install smart slider on the left here you see this panel which is the smart slider panel then head over to the dashboard of the smart slider click on dashboard okay so uh, you have this um, this interface this one was the sample that is brought in immediately we install the uh, smart slider It's called tutorial slider so we need to click, uh, create a new project click here now we can create a new project starting from scratch where we have to do everything but for this tutorial to speed things up and to get the exact result that we have there we're going to use a template so click on start with a template once you click that you see a whole lot of uh, template that can be imported we have all this so just scroll down to the one we'll be using for this uh, tutorial so okay so we're going to use this one this is the one we're going to use so you you can see it is called free layer slider so you just click on import okay so it's imported once it's imported it says it's successful so we can come down here this is the name uh for identification purpose you can decide to change it so i can say um demo slider so demo slider then click here and uh, click on save save it okay so it saved successfully then we go on and then we edit the slider so you click on you can see slide one slide two slide three these are the slides there that will be sliding so you click on edit to edit each one each one will come out like this so you have everything there the layers there so the first layer which is at the back is the one that is selected and if it's not selected let's assume something else is selected like this so you can just come to this place and click on the back the background itself so the last layer here so you can see the image all you need to do is get an image of that same size and if you don't have I, I can try something else so i'll click here and this is the um the slide i mean the image i used uh on the background here so i can actually import it as my number one image so you can also choose where you want to show you understand so you can see as i'm adjusting so how you want it to display the area of the image so once you've done that the next thing is to uh you know choose every other thing for instance uh like this one here this image if i click on it i can come here 
click on this plus sign take note it says 100 by 100 so i can come here let's say i want to upload uh some pictures okay so uh let's see i won't use this okay so let's say i want to use something like uh, this one okay let's say i will use this one later so then maybe i want to use this one too so let me just bring them in and then let's say maybe this one okay so like that let's see which other one should we use this one as well and uh, maybe this one so i'll just bring all of them in at once so that um, i do everything once so i can pick this one here let's assume i pick this one select it so this one has a background so you need to work on it basically but this is just a sample then i'll come to this place where it says sizes size then i'll instead of auto i'll click here and then i'll put 100 so because that size of the image we have there is a uh, is 100 okay so like that 100 by 100 so that one is fixed and as you can see it came out well so if there's no if this background is not there it will come out uh, great so then we move on to this place here for the text so you can actually move this as well then you say excellent education program so uh, i can say um do i say unix unisex let's say let's assume this is a store basically so let's say uh unisex uh category Okay, so like that then then if you want to change anything so like maybe the color and the rest you can come down to style here then you can uh, come to this is color instead of white you can choose green you can choose red uh, but i'm going to leave it at white it looks great okay so then um come to this next one here and uh, come to content and i will say um let's say up to up to 50 uh let's say 50 percent up to 50 percent discount um discount okay up to 50 percent discount so then i can come down to the next one here and then i can type anything I can say get up to uh, fifty percent discount when you show on a unisex um, unisex goods. Okay, so like that so let's just say something like this just for an example like i said you can go to style change the color change the font as well this is the font family so you can pick another one you know to change the look and feel so we come to the button as well the button too we can change the text color this is the text color come here to content first instead of learn more you can say shop now Okay, shop now okay shop now then you can go to style then okay of course here we have link so you put the link where you want this button to take uh, anyone that click it to maybe since it's a store uh, you know I'm not done with this I just did the hero header so since it's a store you can go ahead and put your shop uh, page address here or whatever anywhere at all so I'll click here okay let's put it uh, as example let's say uh, HTTPS so let me just say YouTube youtube.com okay so youtube.com like that so let's say then style I can change the test color from white to anything I want then the background color i can scroll down you see the green color here so you can change it 
if your color is this so whichever color you have the for your own and um, for your brand so you can pick from there so once you've done that you just click on save so we do the same thing you click here uh or just come back to this place from these slides here if you are on the desktop then you click on edit that for the next one so you do the same thing for the next one what i'm going to do now is that i'll just change the background picture for the rest so you've seen how to do everything so i'll bring this and i'll just click on this background and i'll just change the background so i can say this one is watches let's bring this in and see how it looks okay okay so it's there so the watches is there then here i can actually think change this one too to watch i can still use this here and uh, instead of this the sizing instead of the auto i'll change it to 100 by 100 okay good so that is it once i've done that so of course you know how to do every other thing i'll come here and change this to shop now so shop now okay so once i've done that so you can go ahead and do the rest so i will save now that is saved the next thing i need to do is go back to this place here where it says demo slider you know i've changed the name so i'll go back to demo slider once you have finished editing the three slides if you want to have 10 slides you can put them there all right so then the next thing we need to do is come to control here so we have this style here this is the style you know for you to switch the uh, slide so i can decide to pick this one and uh, go to animation this place it says uh, horizontal to get the exact thing we have there i'm going to change this to crossfit crossfit then the background this one here this crossfit affects um okay where is the sample here so it affects this text all these texts are the one that will be crossfading while the background itself that man you're seeing at the back so that is the one we have that is the background animation and it's disabled so i'll click here and then i'll choose let me i'll choose this cutting to the left so like this you can see the effect and i'll say apply and then uh come to auto play as well and then i will enable auto play so that it will be sliding on its own then meanwhile let's go back to that animation so if i want it to be slow i can pick normal i can pick slow whichever way i want it to be so i'll put it like that so once i'm done i'll go ahead and uh, save so it saved successfully then i'll go back to my home where i'm editing and then i'll just refresh this home page here uh, which i've opened with a uh, elemental so i'll go back there so let's say here now i'll just install a new I'll, i mean insert a new uh container so i'll bring in a new container here so come here pick any of these two dimension here since it's just one this thing i'm entering so i'll pick any of these once i enter it here i'll come back to this place make it full width then of course the minimum height uh it will be set automatically by the sliders anyway so whether you do it or not all you need to do uh, let me just put something small so let's say here i'll just come here click here then i'll search for smart slider smart slider so you can see smart slider here you bring it in into that container and then it will ask you to choose so you just choose demo slider and say insert pick demo slider and uh, just insert okay so once you do that go ahead and uh, update go ahead and update and of course if you come to this place here and refresh okay so if you refresh this is what we have here um let's see 
okay so this is what we have here let's see it's not filling the entire uh page so let's come back to um this place here and take a look at the the sizes so let me go to size and uh, let's see the size one two by six hundred okay so it's boxed so we can make it full width okay and then we save so full width and then we save then go back to this place and uh, you know and of course voila, we have it there so um we go ahead and uh, so you can see our slider is working perfectly and of course you know normally we may want this to fill the entire page here instead of this one showing down here so we can come back to our smart slider and uh, on the sizes there for the um height the height is 600 so we can make this 800 so pick 800 and then we can save and uh, if we come back here go ahead and check again yeah we have it there so great it looks great so it looks amazing and uh, uh the autoplay is of course playing so you have it there so um so this looks beautiful and this is how you can create amazing uh sliders for your website using smart slider 3 i believe this video uh, was helpful please go ahead and like drop a comment if you have any concern and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so thank you for watching and bye for now